Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So good to see so many wonderful people out tonight. Amen. Praise Him. But we don't want to forget Thanksgiving. It's only two weeks again. Is that all right? Roughly, roughly about two weeks. So it will be time to start bringing your pledges. Amen. You give them to me, to Sister Anissa. Amen. Is that all right here tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Peaches. Praise the name of Lord, Minister Leo. Anybody you come in contact with me, these bigger phones. You can just... Whatever you need, whatever you have to do for your Thanksgiving. Think about it. It is your Thanksgiving, amen. So talk to the Lord about it. And say, Lord, this is my Thanksgiving. And I'm sowing this towards this. We are having it collectively. It's a church Thanksgiving. Amen. Is that all right? Just deposit whatever it is. We will do the rest. That you would have a great time in the presence of the Lord. Amen. So I'm giving the Lord a good clap offer and then. Praise Him. And I see how many of you visiting with us for the first time. Yes, I saw him right on in the back. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes, yes. God bless you all. Give them a good Holy Ghost welcome tonight. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We have a baby girl for up tonight. Yes, it's time for the prayer. Is that all right? She loves a young people, so we have a long way to go. Is that all right? Bless God, it's so good to see young people tonight. What's the name of the church? Kali. Yes, Kali. Hallelujah. So I'm going to offer up Kali tonight unto the Lord. The word of God said, whatever, whatever you offer unto the Lord, He's able to keep it until that day. Whatever day, the time that they rough ahead, God is going to Fire, tribulation, fire, weather, storm, floods, whatever comes ahead, God is able to keep what you offer unto Him. You can offer your child, you can offer your husband, you can offer your wife. You can open everything unto the Lord. You will keep it to the Lord. Is that all right? So give the Lord a good cup of tea. Hallelujah. God try to keep that food. Is that all right? See, we'll keep that food. Amen. Praise Him. So just bring the child with you. I guess you have come.
giving away every hindrance, every hindering spirit, every diabolical force, every form of evil, witchcraft, sorcery, diabolical powers, every form of opposition that come up against this child in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord. And she goes up. In Jesus, or as he goes up. As he goes up. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the Amen. Praise him. Bless you all. God bless you all. Praise him. Praise him. Father, we are going to be set in this. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. From all things, you know, God bless you all. Keep them safe. Amen. Praise him. Give them a good clap for you. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. We'll talk it over, my sweet Lord and I, my sweet Jesus, I'll ask the reason, he's gonna tell me why, when we talk it over, by and by, we'll talk it over, it's a by and by.
before you go to visit, you're going to speak there tonight. Is that all right? So if you're ready down in the back, you might receive him first. Don't think you're too far away. The God is not listening to what you have to say. Come on, somebody. Is that all right tonight? Say, so don't think you're too far away. The God is not listening to what you have to say. Is that all right? Whatever you say tonight, he will minister to the prophets. And the prophet will minister unto you. Is that all right? So get your heart ready to. So get ready to receive from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. For the God you serve is the one true and living God. The only reason he can hear you is because he's alive. Is that all right? You don't have to take up your God and run when the fire comes. That's not the kind of God you serve. Is that all right? I know fire comes in somebody's house. You have to snatch up their God and run with him. <laughs> Why are we not serving that kind of God tonight? We serve in the God who answers by fire. Is that all right? I said he's a consuming fire, so he answers by fire. Is that all right? But he also answers your prayer. He's listening and waiting to hear your voice. Amen. He said, whatsoever you ask, with faith believing. How you ask? How do you ask? In faith believing. Whatsoever you ask, in faith believing. Believe that you already receive it and you shall have it. Is that all right? So simple it is. I said so simple it is to receive from the Lord. Just believe that you receive it. Whatever you're asking for. Amen. You're going to have it. God is going to provide. He's going to make a way for you. He's going to touch somebody's heart tonight. If you come with a broken heart, broken spirit, He's able to touch you right where you are tonight. He's here to meet every need. If you came with cancers, you came with leukemia, you came here sick, is that all right? He's a great healer, he's the master, the greatest physician. So you're in the right place at the right time tonight. Is that all right? So let's give the Lord one more great clap for him. So Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I proved it more and more. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust Him more.
for all your questions. Is the answer for all the things you've been looking for? Amen. Is that all right or not? And I'm learning and prove that he is the answer. Jesus is the answer. Every situation, every problem, everything that you go through in this life, he is the answer. Amen. Have you found the answer? How many can truly say you found the answer? I see a couple in hand and I hear a little amen. It seems like you never had anything with Jesus. Oh, oh. I said it seemed like you didn't have anything with Jesus. Come on, somebody. How many had some dealings with Jesus? Amen. amen. Yes, that looking better to me. Amen. You're in Jesus' house. Amen. And if you never had something going with him, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you had some experience with him, then we can really one to another because we understand what we're talking about. Is that all right? Are you sitting there tonight? Are you sure you're sitting there? Pitch yourself a serious for the life of man. Give yourself a little bit of serious for the life of man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Praise him. Hallelujah. When you come to the house of the Lord, you must get excited. I said you must get excited. You know why? Because God is about to do so much good things for you. You know, you go to the cinema, you get excited about the show. You know, you go to a wedding, you're excited from somebody. So there should be great excitement when you come into the house of the Lord. Amen. Come with joy in your heart. Is that all right? Come expecting good things from God to happen. Amen. And as you look on and wait in an anticipation, you might be next. I said, you might be next. Come on, somebody. Put your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. See, the God we serve, He works in packages. God works in packages. Your package might be just waiting for you tonight. You have a good deal. It's not the bad one you have with the car or with the house or the, you know, the grocery. But you have a good deal with Jesus. Come on, somebody. And if you're expecting something good tonight, something good is about to happen to you, then let's all stand. Praise Him. Hallelujah. The word of God said to give honor to whom honor is you. Stretch your hands so it's not to be in Say you, Sim Lord. Say you, Sim Lord. Say you, Sim Lord. I'll give the Lord the top of my head. Lift your hands to heaven tonight. Lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands unto Jesus. The Bible said, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith tonight. And we need to welcome the Holy Spirit tonight. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Ghost. Welcome the Holy Ghost. Hello, hello. Welcome the Holy Ghost. Welcome the Holy Ghost. Welcome the Holy Ghost. Hello, we will. 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 We will
for the Lord hear it, their cry and deliver it them from all of your afflictions. And this is a season for deliverance from your afflictions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I say be delivered. I say be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the anointing of the Moses, be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the evil that have been set against you. He said, be not afraid of those that can destroy your body. Be not afraid of them. The Lord said, but be afraid of him that can destroy both spirit, soul, and body. Which is the Lord himself. He said, for he is greater than all those that practice their black acts. And the Lord said, that fear is an entrance, and this fear is tormenting you. And there are times you can't sleep at the night because of that fear. And your, your heart starts to beat very quickly because of that fear. And the Spirit is using that as an entrance. Because fear is the opposite of faith. And he that cometh to God must believe that he is God. The Lord said, believe tonight and you will be free completely. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free. In Jesus' name. Even all your heart. The Lord said, many times you need to your own understanding. But he said, this time acknowledge him. And he will redirect your life to the path that you ought to be. And the hope and the pain and the struggle that you have been through that you would have to go through the second time the Lord said this is something ancestral this spirit you are battling with in your life you need to break it and to break it is an obedience by faith when you obey by faith you will see miracles, signs and wonders you will see favor and grace come upon your life the Lord said he's about to redirect your life this time. He's about to bring change and favor. That his will will be established in your life and see that you will be put down but lifted up. Behold the Lamb of God, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire Lord. Come upon them with new strength, new peace, new wine, new joy, Lord. Break down the walls that is before. Destroy it, Father. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus' mighty name. Receive and be free in Jesus' name. Come to the Lord when I look for a call upon your life. But Satan is trying to destroy you and drop you from that call. He's trying to do, cause you to lose focus away from that call. As he has set obstacles upon obstacles before you to destroy your life. The Lord said the issues you are battling with now, He wants to deliver you and pull you out of it. The Lord said every time you try to come out, you will, you will sink deeper and deeper. The Lord said He's about to pull you out of that hole. The Lord said when you come out, be led by His Spirit. And as He leads you, how you will be led by His Spirit? By trusting in His Word, studying His Word. Practice his word and he will lead you in paths of righteousness. He said, Lord, that you would not be hungry, but you will have more than enough. He will multiply as you go along. And the doors that have been shut before you, he will say with the doors that will be open. For those that seek him, answer that call, and he will reveal himself unto you. That when you call, he will answer and show you great and mighty things that you know not of. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose 
symbol set up in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said, your, your fastings have not gone in vain. You, you have been sowing a seed for victory. And the seed you have been sowing is about to, to bring forth fruit. Because it has gone in the ground. And it has been watered. And it has sprung out. And you can see the flowers in the tree. The Lord said, Don't let the enemy shake the tree. Because he will try to shake your life once more. But let your faith be unmovable. And the Lord said, You will reap bountifully in this season. The Lord said, Satan will attack you through dreams. He will attack you in your job. He will attack you in your home. He will send people in your in your past into your present to attack you. And the Lord said, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Give him the strength to resist. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. And deny with all your heart believe that you shall have them believe with all your heart that you will have whatsoever you ask for how many believe God will get a heavy hand this is the faith we ought to possess we pray with our natural mind and we do not pray with God's power. Amen somebody. Don't your neighbor say we pray with our natural mind. But we do not pray in God's power. Remember that passage of scripture that our faith should not stand in man's wisdom, our wisdom. Our wisdom tells us that it's impossible. That cannot happen. That's a change. That's our natural mind. Hallelujah. But with God's power, all things are made possible. Amen. 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 With God's power, all things are made possible. Amen, someone. Amen. 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 Like this is telling you, the Lord just speaking to me and a whole family believe that she's doing witchcraft. This one right here, brother. Come, come. Come. Bring on, bring on. And uh, because the whole family believes that it's bothering not to have a broken heart. And now this is an entrance for spirits to come, have a bow and sick. But, but we trust in God beyond what men say. We will be free for what people say and what God says. <laughs> that when we pray, we believe. So in the past, she used to go and visit places. Amen, somebody. So anything in the, the farm that happens, they believe that she is going back and do things. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And in the past, she didn't care what they have to say, but when she gets saved, she, she does not care what people have to say. Amen, somebody. Our faith must be in God and what God is saying. Amen. Amen. Don't say what God is saying about your life. I say be free in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't deliver a heart, a soul, a being. From hurt, from pain, from bondage, and oppression. Right now. Come all our hope, come all our pain, all our suffering, deliver her, deliver her, deliver her, Lord, deliver her, deliver her, deliver her, deliver her, deliver her, and cause our family to be delivered.
woman. Let there be change in our home. Let there be change in our family. In our daughter's life. In our sister's life. In our son's life. Oh God, deliver them. Jesus Christ. And the Lord said he has seen your holding your pain. But the Lord said the battle, this battle is not yours to fight. This battle is the Lord's. Let him take charge. Yes, battle for you to fight and battle for him to fight. Let him fight for you. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. What did Jesus say? When we pray, believe that you are what? Receive whatsoever you have asked. And the problem is we pray but we do not believe that we have received it. You have to believe it in your heart. If you have to bring Jesus to the scene, you got to believe in your heart. When Elijah went up to Mount Carmel, he believed in his heart. And when he opened his mouth, fire must appear. He didn't went to see, he didn't went to test, he didn't went to feel, he went knowing. That God has answered his prayer. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Elijah asked God to stop praying for three and a half years. He believed the Bible said he prayed out earnestly, diligently, continuously, believing that God will stop the rain for three and a half years. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, and it did not rain for what? Three and a half years after his prayer. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And the kings of Israel said that he said, Thou art the man that troubled in Israel. They didn't say that God was struggling in Israel. They said Elijah was struggling in Israel. You know why? Because Elijah prayed and asked God to stop rain. God didn't tell him that he was suffering for three and a half years. The Bible said he prayed. That rain will not fall for three and a half years because of the sin that Israel committed against God, against God and the amen somebody and his commandments. And then the three and a half years has ended. Elijah went and prayed that God will send rain again. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. You might say why I'm speaking about prayer. Because I listen. When we have prayer meeting, I listen to people praying, I listen to their voices. And I see people's eyes open, I see people's eyes looking all around. And, 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 and these are people that say they are Christians and believers and they are doing all that they can to get God to move in their lives. That they have problems with their children and, and problems with their husband and problems with their wife and, and problems in their job. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And one of the greatest weapons God has given to us is prayer. And the church got a little to pray. We cannot stop stressing on prayer and on a prayer life. Yeah. Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 If I'm the call, some of you to pray. How many of you are able to pray? Amen somebody. Amen. How many are able to lift up your children? Amen, somebody. How many of you, you say that you are praying. If you are praying, everything will come natural to you. Your prayer life must be natural. And, and if you have the Holy Spirit, He said, when you know what to say, He will put words in your mouth to say. So there is no excuse when we pray. somebody. Amen. We come dependent on, on the man of God to pray for us. But the man of God has no power. Amen somebody. Unless God gives him the power. And it is God that directs that power. So I can 
thing that hold on one of oil and throw it down on you and throw it down your throat too. And nothing will happen to you. Because it is the anointing of God that breaks the yoke. It is you connecting to God that sets you free. When you want to eat food, you find what? Amen. You find the food, yes, but you're not eating it off the ground. You find it, you, you find a plate. That's a vessel. You find a fork or a spoon to use. Amen. I am that vessel. Amen. God has food for you, the bread of life. Amen. I am just that vessel he will use to deliver it unto you. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. But his brother is bringing it to you. Come on, Amen. And the Bible speaks about a certain woman. Amen. Amen. Jesus used that parable how our prayer life ought to be. Amen. And I'm going to read it for you. Amen, somebody. And the Bible says, and he speak a parable. That's Luke chapter 18. And he speak a parable unto them. To this end, that men ought to always pray. Let me say, always pray. Always pray. I'm not faint. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 I know there are times you will get discouraged, you will feel like praying. Amen. When the battle gets tough, amen, somebody. Amen. When we are fighting, when we are struggling, when we are going through things, when we are hurt, when we are grieving, amen, somebody. But there is a voice that will speak to us as believers and go and pray. Go and pray, go and pray, go and pray, go and pray. And, pray. and some of us resist that voice. Amen, somebody. Praise Go and pray. Tell the person, go and pray. Because God, you got to believe that God hears and answers prayer. Amen. Amen. And he said, saying there was in his city, listen to the parable, saying there was in his city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. The judge what? Feared not God and had no respect for man. Amen. Amen. Did they ever say this particular judge? Jesus said, Fear not God, neither had respect for man. In other words, he didn't care what happened to you. After he sentenced you, he do not care. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, and there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Amen, somebody. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Do I fear not God, nor regard man? Yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. What changed the mind of that judge that didn't have fear for God and did not respect any man? Come on, what, what changed? What changed that? What changed the mind of that judge? The judge got weary of her coming. Amen, somebody. He didn't have respect for man or fear for God. But she came coming to this church amen, amen, amen. and he got fed up and gave up the heart what she asked. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Because she believed that he could have solved the problem. Amen. And if you believe in your heart that God can solve your problems, would you not keep going to him in prayer? Amen. Somebody, Amen. would you not keep continually day after day after day after day going to God in prayer because you believe with all your heart that He can solve your problem and He can make a way when there seems to be no way? And in that day, if I call His words, and in that day, if I call upon the name of the Lord, He is able to show unto me great and mighty things that I know not of. Amen. And He is able.
able to avenge me and he's able to bring peace for me and he's able to open doors for me and he's able to heal me Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge says. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? And Jesus said, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Jesus used the parable of this widow woman to describe how our prayer life ought to be. Amen. How we ought to be persistent and continuous in prayer. No matter how bad our situation looks, no matter how we feel, we got to be diligent in prayer because he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And if an ungodly man, a man that has no respect, a person could have changed his mind, what as God would not do in your life if you are continuous in your dedication and in your prayer and in your faith. Amen. But Jesus for saying that is he left when you come will he find faith on the earth will he find a people continuously in faith and in prayer Amen. 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 Amen somebody Amen. 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 Amen when you begin to seek God in your life Things will begin to happen. Tell him as when you. Not when the prophet, when you. Not when the apostle, when you. Not when he hit, when you. Not TV just shop, when you. Not TV Jakes, when you. When you begin to seek the face of God continuously, you will see miracles, signs, wonders in your life. You will see doors open. You will see favor happen. You will see miracles happen. You will walk in miracles every day. You will walk in blessings. You will walk in breakthrough. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. There's a race to be, to be run. Amen, somebody. But this race is not for the fast, not for the swift, but it's for those who can be Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Yeah. This is what the woman did. She endured. How many times she was still down? Tell me you, if you pray a week, your fast two days, and you didn't see nothing happen, and you, you turn your heart away from God. You yeah. might still be in church, but your, your, your heart is stirred. Amen. Because your, the, the faith that you had. The two days you fast and the week that you pray, you don't have it again. So you didn't see nothing yet happen. But the race is not for the fast nor for the swift, but for those who can endure. This, this widow woman endured, amen, somebody. And an unjust man, amen. A judge that feared not God, no regarded man, had no respect for man. His heart was changed. Yes, the grand the woman her wish. Amen. And Jesus is saying, surely, surely he will avenge his people. Amen. Surely he will deliver his people. Amen. But will he find faith when he comes? Amen. 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 And let's use that term when he comes, meaning there is a time for him to come. Amen. Amen. So there is a time for him to come. But you are preparing for him to come. To come to, in your life, to come to your problem, to come to your situation, to meet your need. There's a time when he comes. But you got to endure and hold fast to your faith until he comes to bring that deliverance, to cause that miracle. Somebody. Amen. Amen. He wants to show up in your life. And if you got to bring Jesus where you are, you got to talk to him. Amen. You got to pray. You got to seek him. 
Amen, somebody. You got a hunger and thirst after him. You got to believe in your heart that even when you pray, you have received it. And everything you are praying, you are praying with that same faith. I have received it. To the neighbor say, I have received it. You know, tell yourself, I have received it. Begin to confess what you have received tonight. Begin to talk to him. Begin to confess. You know your situation. You know your problem. Whatever you need to receive, confess and believe with all your heart. See, there is no price that Jesus can pay. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 I just think to me. Whatever is the cost of your situation, he has already paid the price. And you know the scripture well. But you might know with your mind, not with your heart. And that's the difference between a true believer. One who knows the world with his mind and one who knows it with his heart. Because one who knows it with his heart has his emotion embedded and buried in it. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And I, and I like to draw things that we understand to relate to the things of Christ. Amen. There are people who love a man or a woman and they don't know why they love them. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, the smoking, the drinking, the gambling. Amen, somebody. You are sure if the if people tell them I hit you to the slap and your crowd, I love you more. And your friends and your family ask you, why you love them? You can't give them an answer. Well, they cut grass good enough. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Amen. 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 When your when your heart is buried in God's word, your emotion is buried in it. And then you pray, you pray with your whole being, with all of your emotion and all of your mind. Amen. Amen. That connects you to God. That caused the power of faith to move. You believe with, with all of your heart. Amen. No matter all the impossibilities you are seeing, but you believe with your all, and that brings Jesus to the scene. That brings him where you are. Remember what Jesus said. Blessed is he who have never seen me and yet has believed on me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are made whole. Amen. But quoting that scripture, having that letter, will profit us nothing unless our heart believes it. Remember that opening verse. It says, whose report shall you believe? Amen, someone. Amen. If you are living in fear, then you are believing the report of the enemy. No matter how much worse you can come to me. Because your fear comes from your heart, your emotion. And if you are living in fear, Amen, somebody. Amen. You're not living in faith. So therefore, your, your emotion tells me where your faith is. It tells your enemy where your faith is. It, it, it speaks and tells you what voice you trust in. David said, be still and know that he is God. You 
are still because you have faith in the God you trust in. And he is reliable. Amen. That he is more than able to deliver you. Amen. To provide for you. To heal you. Because you are a believer, don't think that bad things will not happen. Jesus said, Behold, troubles will come, trials will come, persecution will come. Amen. But what he said about our heart, let not what? Let not your heart be troubled. And be not what? Be not fearful, but have faith. Have faith, and he will come to you. Tell the embassy wants to come to you tonight. Your business is in trouble, he wants to come to your business. Your health is in trouble, he wants to come to your health. Amen, somebody. The same man, I, I don't care what cemetery they went to, how far in depths of hell they went to. Jesus went deep by all of them. He went and meet Satan himself and took the keys of life and get out of his hands. And if I claim to belong to him, I operate by his authority. If you claim to belong to him, you're operating by his authority. That though you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. Amen. 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 So the neighbor said, you shall fear no evil. You shall fear no evil. Somebody only, all your mind is, yes, the only God is going to do no bad. Yes, and the brother, the neighbor, the sister, they're doing the junga again. They're doing the witchcraft again. They do this same thing again. Everything that happened, you feel that pain in your, in your ankle. Yes, they're gone again, I feel it. Your fear is telling you that. Amen. Are you understand what I'm telling you? And you are tormenting yourself with your fear. And you are opening spiritual gateways because. Satan does not see the wall of flesh before you. He sees what is within you. He sees your spirit and your soul. He, he sees what you see in your lies, your fears, your doubts. He knows what you believe in and what you trust in. We as man, we will see things as man and we will look and see a physical man or a amen somebody or a physical woman but Satan has seen your soul, your spirit. And he knows how to enter into your life. He knows how to play with your mind, he knows how to play with your heart, he knows how to tempt you and how to trouble you. Even somebody, you understand what I'm saying? And whether they're doing it or not, you have to believe that they cannot touch you. Amen. Amen. So whether they're doing it or not, you got to believe it cannot touch you. Amen. 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 They can go to Guyana, Nigeria and come back for you. It cannot touch you. Amen. Amen, somebody. It cannot harm you. God will fight for you. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 We are most weak is when we sleep. Most vulnerable the spirit can be when we sleep. We, we can be attacking our dreams. Amen somebody. Amen somebody. Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. And uh, as a man of God, a woman of God in warfare, many people, there are many people afraid of warfare. 
That's why they are very few deliverance ministry. And you will find after time, people who are doing deliverance, who are not aware what they are really doing, develop what is called anxiety, stress. Amen, somebody. Because of the warfare they have been in, the trauma they have been in. Because the mind is the battlefield. That's why you will read David prayer many times for, for God restores my soul. Amen. You know what time David prayed that prayer? For thou hast thou about the restore of my soul. What is your soul comprised of? Your mind, your will, and your emotion. What do we call our heart, our feelings? You are in that same warfare as well. Amen. Many of us have developed anxiety and, and stress over pressure. Let's go up here so amen somebody. And many sickness are, are related to it. Amen, somebody. But the Bible said that David prayed that prayer. Amen, somebody. Amen. That thou art the restorer of my soul. Thou restorest my soul. Many times, thou restorest my soul. Thou restorest the sanity of my mind. Amen, somebody. Thou heal my heart. Amen, somebody. Many of us are emotionally unstable. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And when we, when we become emotionally unstable, we become mentally unstable. Amen. But when we look to, to pray that prayer, He is able to heal our hearts and our minds. Amen. Amen. That's the real target of the enemy, our hearts and our minds. And that's why David prayed that prayer many times. For thou art a restorer of my soul. Amen, somebody. Amen. As we made mention of that, I want you to pray that God will destroy your soul right now. In peace, in strength, in righteousness, in holiness, in love, in patience, in meekness, in power. There, there are times we feel that we can't go up, we can't make it. Why? Because our soul has become crushed by the battles we have faced. He's a restorer of our soul. He is a restorer of our soul. But don't restore us my soul. Don't restore us my soul. Amen, someone. Amen. Amen. Don't restore us my soul. Hallelujah. Amen, someone. Amen. And to put your faith, even when you are attacking your dreams, you are able to resist him. Amen. Amen, someone. Amen. I remember a time a powerful witch that controlled a whole region came at me in my sleep at night and attacked everyone in the household. And so I opened all the doors and all the lights went out. No one could have moved in the house. No one could have made a sound. Amen. Our hair was full of snake. Our eyes, amen, somebody. Amen, were like blood red. Amen, somebody. Amen. And she came and put her hand here and said, Tonight I have come to take your life. And as she said that a bright light came from here, honey. Amen. Amen. And she screamed out and flew through the window. The next morning, they found her dead on a tree. Amen, somebody. It was on the news, the headline. We went to do a crusade in Grenada. But the next morning, as proof, a handprint remained on my left hand for, for about three months straight. It was bumped into my hand. But nothing upon me was scarred or bruised or touched. A 
And that, in that crusade, demons of money, people who didn't come to the crusade were manifesting in their homes. Because you had the term, the word, the term for people is the hard and block lock. She had that whole village lock. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And that's the only time she could have come. Amen. But the Bible said that he will even give you perfect, nice rest, perfect peace. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. She could not find an entrance. Amen. She came with a sacrifice, a life for a life. But she couldn't have my life because my life was already paid for. And in the same way, Satan can't have your life unless you give it to him. Your life has already been paid for by the blood of Jesus. That's why healing is yours. Repeat after me, say, my temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost. It's not the temple of demons. It is not a temple of sickness. It is not a temple of stress and oppression. It is a temple of peace and joy and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Believe tonight that you will receive what we came here for tonight. And that God will deliver you and make a way for you. Amen. Amen. Let me to pick up a nice tight and offer it to you tonight. The shadow has on the of attack. Something appeared in his home. A, a witch to be precise and he saw it. He was not sleeping. He was up. And it appeared before him. And uh, the spirit of the center caused an accident. What a lot of shit is an accident on the road. It wants to take your life. You know, and people just wonder, well, why people do these things and why? Amen, somebody. Why am I doing what God has called me to do? In the same way God has called men to work for him. Satan got an army too. Amen, somebody. And then there are some people in between that uh, you don't know what they're in. They sincerely believe that that's what their father and their mother was in and they just continue practicing it. They just don't know what they're in. And what they are practicing and the demon spirit that are operating around their lives. And this spirit is sent to create confusion within the home and problems. And bring to sickness. But the Bible said it was for this purpose that the Son of God was made manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every work of the devil be destroyed. And the power of the Holy Ghost. And we bring it to Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every work of witches and wizards. Every diabolical power. Every poison. He has to be dead in his dream or in his sleep. We command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. We lose and set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lose and set free. We lose and set free. We lose and set free. Jesus, mighty name. Hallelujah. Peace and deliverance. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this miracle and healing. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every work of witchcraft, sorcery, necromancy, every satanic power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And he's spinning up in poverty. Loser and set up free. The power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All of our blood, all of our fluid. In the name of Jesus Christ. We say be healed, be delivered. We set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. Jesus' name. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every diabolical power. 
have been yoke of sin and witchcraft, sorcery. They broke and loose him and set him free. Take your filthy hands off of him and say that he does not belong to you. He belongs to Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus name. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus mighty name. And the power of the Holy Ghost. As you gave unto me this special instruction for a situation. We command this curse yes. and this evil yes. power yes. over the home that broke up. Right. And the anointing of the Mosa right. is set to break Jesus. every yoke, chain, better. In the right. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right. Holy Ghost, fire! Deliverance 
into your life, yeah. Personal things happening around you. Can, you don't want to speak with me openly. But God knows that you have seen it and he wants to bring change in that area. He condolemos, he condolemos, he condolemos, he The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy God, fire, loose and suck up free in Jesus' mighty name. We direct our life. The Lord said you have made certain decisions. You thought you were good ones. But you did not think you have turned out like this and you are depressed and you don't know where to go. The Lord said he will give you a new beginning as you start and show you the glory out. The peace and strength. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is on the God in her life, every poison she might have eaten in her dream, in her sleep. Everything deposited in her blood and her food. God, lose her and suck her Holy God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say this prayer, redirect the land. It's Jesus, my dear. Amen. Amen. Go with faith. See God move tonight. Amen. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power of the Holy Ghost. Everything that is not of God in her life. Every poison. She might have eaten in her sleep when her sleep. Placed by witches and wizards and warlocks. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Eko robo sana mayasha. Yata rama ba, yata rama ba. Seko de la baba sana. In the name of Jesus Christ. Loose and set up for it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. One of the main areas you are struggling with is in, is in relationships. And the Lord said, wait on him. And you will know what to do within the next two months. In this situation that you are in right now. You are between two opinions and you do not know what we need to do. And the Lord said you are going to a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. There are times where you just feel a weakness come upon you. Your strength of God. The Lord said He will give you back that strength and your peace. There are people that doesn't want to see you happy. The Lord wants to bring peace before you. They pray in the name of Jesus Christ. They pray in the name of Jesus Christ. They speak peace and Everyone, the home and our family, Lord. Wherever Satan has come in and has done, let the Spirit of God lift us high in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire. We pray that you will break every yoke, break every chain, break every pattern. Everything in the son of God in our life, every unclean spirit, calm spirit, in the name of Jesus, be broken, be broken, be broken. Loose her and set up loose her and set up The power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Ghost, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said to you to go and read St. John 3, chapter 3. Four and five. The Lord said, "This is something ancestral. Something happened with the with the woman in your family. They, they go through certain stuff, and they can identify that they, they keep going through these things. And this spirit is up to be broken. The Lord said, they will begin to break it Saturday of the night. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost." Out of our blood, out of our fluid, out of our womb. Everything in us that of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Loose her and suck her free. In Jesus' mighty name. By faith. Alright? Repeat that to me. Say in the name of Jesus. I believe the report of God. And I command healing through all my arteries. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive healing, receive healing, receive healing. Get out of the arteries, you spirit of infirmity. You spirit of death and affliction. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. But I anoint this water, the anointing of deliverance to give the water for her as well. In the name of Jesus, hold on sister. In the name of Jesus, bring healing to her, Russia. Oh God, that's the anointing of deliverance flow to this water. Bring healing by those arteries. Drink it down in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Huh? Oh, go and sick yourself. This is your child. Give me some water for this child. Sir. We command sick yourself to leave and dry us out of our body. In the name of Jesus Christ. He gave you spirit and love out of this side in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Drink it up. Drink it up. We spirit it up. Get an affliction. Loose and set us free in Jesus' name. Do it at 29. We're going to get married at 29. Don't you have to watch them? Let me decree the blessing of God over their life, their relationship. All right, as uh, he said that he has, she has given her life to the Lord and uh, they have taken the step of obedience and faith. Amen. To be married and they will live right before God. All right. The mighty name of Jesus multiply their financial step and increase. Let there be a move of God in their life. Loose them and set them free, Lord. Oh God, stop them. Break your chain, fetters. Every struggle. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, prayer. Complete deliverance, complete deliverance, complete deliverance in our blood, in our food. Give me some water for our cooking tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of the deliverance is set in this water. They're going to fire the root and destroy the roots of that in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I anoint this water of deliverance.